Hello and welcome to a video from Films by Chris. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. Today we're going to look at playing MIDI files in your shell. What is a MIDI file? So a lot of people think of MIDI files, they think of like electronic sounding music. And the truth is, MIDI files don't make any sound themselves. They are like, if we take computer stuff and relate it to stuff in the real world, MIDI files are the music sheets, right? When you have the music written down on a sheet of paper, it doesn't make any sound, but you play it with an instrument. So we have our MIDI files, but we need to link them to some sort of instrument to get sound out of them. That's why MIDI files are so small. It's just information on the notes, not effects or instruments. So how do we place them? So first we need a MIDI file to work with, right? So I opened up LMMS. I made this simple little ditty here that it sounds great. And I'm gonna be just playing this through my speaker so it's not gonna sound absolutely wonderful to you guys, but you'll get the idea. Anyway, I created that and I exported it as a MIDI. And there I'm linking it to a sound font file. So what is a sound font file? So when you have instruments on a computer, the two main options are synthesized or sound font. And sound font are sound fonts are recordings. They could be recordings of synths or they could be recordings of real instruments. But basically, you record the notes and then you tell it in the sound font file to manipulate that recording for other notes, or you can actually record a separate note for each key on a keyboard. Uh, so you can, sound fonts can be very realistic sounding because they could be real recordings of individual notes being played from whatever instrument you want. So let's go ahead and talk about sound, sound fonts first, right? So we have a program called Fluid Synth. So Fluid Synth is going to be in your repositories most likely. So on a Debian based system like mine, you can say sudo apt install uh, uh, Fluid Synth, right? Now we need a sound font file to load. I'm pointing at one right here. If you were on at least a Debian based system to use your package manager and search for sound fonts, you'll see that there's a couple already in our repositories that we can use. Some are larger than others, depending on how high quality they are, how many recordings for each note they have, how many different instruments they have, but you can install some of these. You can also just go on the internet and found, find some. There's also a program that used to be called Smurf, Smurf, like the little blue guys, but now I believe it's called Swami that's usually in the repositories. And in there you can create your own sound fonts. I've done that. It's actually a little more complicated than you would think, but once you get the idea wrapped around your head, it's not that hard, but it's been years since I've done it. But you need a sound font file. On a Debian-based system, if you install it from the repositories, it's probably gonna go in USR share sounds uh, SF2 for sound font 2 because there is a version 3 out there and then there'll be a list of there and what uh, lists in there of ones you've installed. Now uh, if you download them from the internet you just point to wherever they want. So I've exported my MIDI file. It's in here. It's called my MIDI. So with fluid synth I say start fluid synth. I say use this sound font file wherever it is and then we're going to play my MIDI. Now because I'm using a different instrument it's the same MIDI file but it's going to sound different because of the instrument I have chosen. Anyway, I'm going to quit out of that. So that's just how you can play one. Now let, let's go ahead and just grab a different sound font just to show how it can sound different. And different sound fonts, they can have multiple instruments. We're not going to get into detail too much, but you can switch different instruments inside the sound font. But here's another sound font. It's going to default to the first instrument in there. So that one was a lot more piano sounding. So again, MIDI and then you have your instrument. And so far we looked at sound fonts. Now uh, we're running it in the shell here. Sound font or fluid synth has a lot of options in it. You can look at the help, you can look at the man file, you can look up stuff online. But another option would be QSynth. What is QSynth? Well, QSynth is just a graphical front end for fluid synth. So you install it with your repositories, it will install fluid synth, and then you'll have this interface. Here you can choose different uh, instruments here, and then you go setup, and you go sound font, and then you can say open, and you can choose one of the sound fonts, and then you can choose which one you want to use here, and we'll say okay. Now, uh, how do we get sound playing into this? Well, this is just a front end for fluid synth. Uh, let's say we wanted to, and we can link our MIDI keyboard to it, but let's say we want to play our file. One of the things you can do is there is a program that you can install from your repositories called pMIDI. So uh, Debian based system, user package manager, sudo apt 
install pmidi. Once you have pmidi installed, you can say pmidi L and it'll list all of your available MIDI inputs that you can go to. Uh, and I have a few up here. And you can see I have QSynth here. Uh, these are three different QSynths are these different tabs here. I'm gonna go for the first one that we've linked an instrument to. So what do I do? If you have multiple synthesizers or sound fonts or applications that take MIDI inputs, PMIDI will let you list them here. And then you can use PMIDI to play it. So each one has its own port number as you open up more applications or if you hook up physical MIDI uh, programs, uh, sorry, physical MIDI hardware to it, synthesizers, or I have a uh, digital or electronic piano in the other room. If I was to hook that up, it would show up here. And then all I have to do is say P MIDI. And instead of dash L, we'll say dash P for the port. And I guess I should have left that up. Now, let's say I want to go to this first instrument in the fluid synth. I will say P and I will give it this 131 instrument zero. So we're looking at that first thing, and again, it can have multiple instruments. And then I am going to give it the name of my MIDI. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. Now, QSynth has a bunch of uh, little op uh, knobs in here, stuff that you can affect, but just playing that gives you that option. Again, you can also link multiple instruments so you can play that way. So we've looked at sound fonts. Let's look at synthesizers. Uh, there's lots of synthesizers in your repositories. Look for them. Uh, just search synthesizers. ZYN add sub effect is a great one, which could also be run headless in the background. Uh, it's built into LMMS as well, or could be run standalone. Uh, AM synth is another great one. So here's AM synth and here's a little piano to go with it. Woo, that's loud. Let's lower that down. And you can select different instruments here. And there's different banks as well, so you can go different banks and then pick an instrument. Uh, let's go ahead and just say, let's see what my friend. Okay, so we have AM synth open. Let me go ahead and run PMIDI-L again to list, and you can see AM synth here. And now I can take this and I can say PMIDI-P give it that port and my MIDI file, and now it's gonna play through AM synth. And I can change the instruments. So I hope that I showed you, again, we have these graphical interfaces, but if you want to connect a MIDI file or a MIDI hardware device, to a synthesizer or some sound font or a hardware synthesizer. Anything with a MIDI input should show up here and you can just link it that way using PMIDI. There's other options, especially if you have Jack going, which Jack is great for uh, if you're doing music synthesizer or music creation to have all of your, your music software interact with each other. But if you just wanted a simple play MIDI, because again, if I do something like MPV and try to play a MIDI file, it's not gonna do it because because it doesn't know what to play. It, it doesn't have any instruments. It's not a sound, it's not a media file. It's it's a music sheets, basically. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, again, there, you can also just import it into LMMS and it will automatically load it up with a sound font file and then you can change the instruments in there. LMMS is a great place for creating music, but also if you just have a MIDI file, you can play it that way. But it might be overkill if you're just in the shell and you're like, I wanna hear this MIDI file. Thanks for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. I hope that you have a great day.